Hi friends, it's Linda here. Today we are going to talk about a chapter in my book called Just Live Today. That is chapter 13. And my book is a two-part series. The first part is kind of my personal story of God's physical healing and spiritual healing in my life. And then part two of my book is more of a a guidebook for us and an inspirational practice to deepen our awareness of our worthiness and our relationship with Jesus. So several years ago, I was asleep one night and in the middle of the night, I woke up and this acronym popped in my head and it was for Jesus. And it's just live today, expect miracles, speak truth, use your gifts, start now. And in the middle of the night, I just got up and I was like, okay, I'm going to put that on my cell phone because I didn't have any a pen and paper beside my bed. But I wrote it, on, put it on my cell phone, and it sat there for probably a year. And then one day when I was really struggling, I pulled that acronym out and I started journaling through that acronym and kind of seeing how that really applied to my relationship with God. And... So anyway, you'll learn more about it in the weeks ahead, but today what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the first part of the acronym. The first letter is J for Jesus, and it's Just Live Today. So I want to read an excerpt out of my book to you, and just kind of one reason why Just Live Today is so important to me, and when I look back on my cancer journey, really what I learned through that journey about the importance of living in the present moment and just living today. So on page 177 in chapter 13, Just Live Today, I wrote, when I was diagnosed with cancer and was afraid I was going to die, I wanted my time back. I wanted to undo the days I'd let slip through my hands, the slow, sweet moments with my husband and the simple and silly moments with my daughter. I would sit on my front porch swing with a sinking feeling, the new reality, that I only had that very hour or that very day. I could not go backward, and I was not guaranteed a future. I just had today. Looking back, I am finally aware of what a tremendous gift it was to recognize that all I had was that single moment. So that is such one of the just key points in part two of my book is focusing on today. Just live today. And it's so hard because I am the first to admit to you, like, I get so stressed out and so overwhelmed with my to-do list. And I constantly stay either a day ahead or two days ahead in my mind or just even a few hours ahead. I'm just constantly thinking of the next thing I have to do. And it's so hard to live in the present moment. So how do we do that? Like that's a nice thought, like, okay, let's live in the present moment. But how do we do that? Well, on page 179 in chapter 13, Just Live Today, I write about five habits of Just Live Today habits to practice. So I'm going to read those to you. Deep breathing. Take time to simply breathe. When you're overwhelmed, stressed out, just take a deep breath. I'm telling you, it does wonders <laughs> whenever you do that. Habit number two, think, pray, thinking, praising, and worshiping God continually throughout the day. When we have a grateful attitude to God, that remind, that keeps us in the present moment whenever we're just continually thanking God for all of the gifts for today. Number three, slowing down, not rushing through my day. Again, like I said, I'm always a few steps ahead or a few days ahead. So when I'm rushing, I cannot live and simply be in the moment. Habit four, being aware of how I'm feeling physically. Is there tension throughout my body? Oh, that is like, that's a good one for me because I... I'm just, I don't know, I'm a high, I'm a wound up person and I like to go, go, go and do, do, do. But what happens is, is I stay really tense and I get shoulder pain and back pain and all this because I'm tense. So 
it's so important to just take time to see how am I, ask yourself, how am I physically feeling? And then habit number five, listening. Listening to myself, to my surroundings, or to God. So when we take time to just really listen, we can be in the present moment. So I hope this is encouraging you today. I know this morning I was feeling overwhelmed with my to-do list and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to pull out my book and I'm going to read chapter 13 on Just Live Today because I knew I needed to just get in the present moment with God. So I hope this is inspiring you. I'm so thrilled that you guys are following me and I hope that everyone buys the book. Please share my video, this video with um, all of your friends and really it's um, this book is not about me, even though God's using me as a vessel. It is about sharing the love of Christ with others and really honestly my heart and passion is for people to just deepen their relationship with Jesus through this story. So take care, God bless, and let's say it together. I am worthy. Thank you, Jesus.